All right, guys, good old boy 32 here. Check it out. I've been running around looking for these things, and they were sitting, well, right here. All right, what are we doing? We're out here at Mifflin County Sportsman's Association, my absolute favorite place. Guys, this place is near Lewistown, Pennsylvania, and I will be, you got a thousand yard range, 500 yard range, 100 yard base, you got a 50 yard base, you've got a, a private 50 yard bay, uh, trap and skeet shooting. Uh, they've got a really cool league out here, and the best part about it is that it doesn't cost a bazillion dollars a year to be a membership. Member, if you're a Pennsylvania resident, it's $80 a year, out of state is 90 she probably shouldn't have said anything about that. You guys would be swarming this thing. But um, one of the most important things I wanted to uh, let you guys know about in this video is that myself and X-Ring, will I'll be hosting a class. X-Ring will be the actual instructor for the class. And uh, I will issue those dates out as soon as we get them secured. It should be a lot of fun. So anyway, what are we doing here? Well, we've got this really cool JP rifle. This is the LRP-07. We've got a lot of wind blowing in right now. Uh, and the difference with this guy, so what, yeah, this thing is cool. It, other than it's stacked the deck, it's got everything under the sun with it. It actually is chambered in not 6.5 Creedmoor, but in 2.60 Remington. 2.60 Remington, that's right. And when I first heard about this, and it was like all kinds of crazy stuff, and then my good friend X-Ring, he shot it, and he said, dude, this thing spoke to him. So, uh, you know, I've, I've got a hold of it, and I'm actually out here doing a review. And one of the things I wanted to do, other than just talk about the rifle, which we will here in a few minutes, I'm going to take it back to the, uh, the uh, big table there at my uh, uh, shop, the Freedom Shack, is I want to talk to you about some of the things that you're going to be learning in the future. But before we do that, what's the difference between a 260 and a 6.5 Creedmoor? Basically, that's it right there. I hope you guys can see that. Uh, I know I'm going to zero it in as far as I can. Uh, essentially, the cartridge is a little bit longer. It'll hold a little bit more capacity on the powder. What does that relate to downrange? It's about 100, 150 feet per second faster with the 260 Remington, which is a huge deal when you're talking about high winds. Uh, same bullet, essentially. Uh, these are, this is 130 grain, where this is 147 grain on the 6.5 Creedmoor. Uh, I think the ballistic coefficient on the 147 grain is a little bit better than the 130, but the velocities are higher. Now, one of the things that you don't want to do is get these things mixed up because that 6.5 Creedmoor will chamber. You aren't, you're not going to get it off, but it will chamber. All right, so what are we going to do? I've got cameras set up at 100 yards, and I've got a camera set at the 1,000-yard target. And one of the things that you're going to learn in the upcoming class is we're going to talk about Kestrels, and we're going to talk about laser rangefinders. Now, the Kestrel 5700 Elite, this is the one with the link, and then we have the Kestrel 20, I mean, sorry, the Rangemaster 2800.com. This is pretty cool. Uh, I don't have the cameras right now to do it with it, but... We've got this thing set up. It's zeroed at 100. I've entered the data into the Kestrel, and with the 2800.com, all I have to do is laze the target, and it's going to give me my dope, which in this case, hold on, let me read it out, is 1,000 yards, and we're going to drop it. Our dope is 8.0. Zero. Now, one of the things I've already taken the liberty of doing is truing out this thing so that the dope that is in here matches the rifle at the ballistics and the feet per second. With this barrel, which I think is a 20-inch barrel, we're getting uh, 28.73 uh, feet per second. So let's do this real quickly. Uh, I'm either going to embarrass myself or I'm going to show you exactly what's going on here. We'll go ahead bring this primary arms platinum scope down to a zero. All right, right there. I'm going to put three rounds on the 100-yard target. I got a camera there. And then we are going to take it and uh, run it up to 1,000. The cool part about this rifle is it is a side charger. It has the heat sink on it and the big old tank muzzle brake up there. Watch for the recoil. Here we go. Uh, one of the things I would like to say is the trigger is absolutely phenomenal. This Magpul uh, stock, I'm actually in. I actually like it. Not a big fan of. Well, I always say that. It is what it is. All right, so here we go. That is a three-quarter inch dot set up at 100. 
Whoops. Go ahead, put three now. All right. Well, we need to come left. Two tenths of a mil. Which is basically... the correction I made a while back. All right, so that... Let's pop one more just to verify. back okay so here's the fun part we've got 10 round mag what's that we got a couple rounds up here we're gonna go ahead and send it up to the thousand that's a hanging target all right Kestrel says 8.17 here we go ah a little left here we go there it is Huh. That there's a lot of fun. I don't care who you are. <laughs> All right. Well, guys, let's get on back to the shop. I'm going to show you the details on this thing. Low mass operating system, low mass operating bolt, the bolt carrier. Uh, the trigger on this bad boy is divine. Uh, Mark III handguard, which you guys, if you follow the channel, you know is my favorite. Uh, JP barrel with that big old tank muzzle brake. I hate to say this, but let's go ahead and pop that thing out a couple more times. All right, if I failed to mention it before, this rifle was sent to the channel by the one and only Ethan Manning. Manning and Sons! <laughs> let's have some fun. This is a lot of fun, guys. All right, well, not fun for that. All right, guys, well, that was it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let's go ahead and get on back to the uh, shop. And uh, if I failed to mention before, Ethan Manning sent this rifle out for uh, some testing and having fun. Guys, if you're interested in JP, uh, Atlas, uh, Wilson Combat, CZ, he is the man with the plan. Uh, his link is down below. He's a huge supporter of the channel, Manning and Sons. Let's get on into the uh, Freedom Shack and do a full-blown detail review of all the parts and pieces. Go to Boy32. Here we go.